Medical treatment after getting a concussion is quickly evolving as doctors learn more about the long-term effects of head injuries. Tonight, MTN's Jill Valley caught up with a Polson teenager who is putting his future ahead of football after seeing just how his concussion rattled his health. 17-year-old Andre Bauer is getting a lot of screen time these days. Not for fun, but for function. He was in a car crash a month ago. His head did this to the windshield of his car. You can imagine what the impact did to his brain. I felt tired emotionally. I felt like I was drained of my sleep. and I just wasn't myself at all. Andre is a very athletic kid who was bewildered at why a couple of bumps on the head would make him feel so off. When I first realized that I had a concussion, I was like, I've never felt this way. I was really slowed down. I couldn't focus on moving parts, uh, driving, uh, just watching cars go by, walking down a hallway. It was really hard with my eyes. Andre is an athlete. He played for the Polson Pirates. He's a three-time All-American weightlifter and a state champ in shotgun shooting. He needed help, though, with this head injury, so he connected with physical therapist Jill Olson of Peak Performance in Missoula. She put him on what's called the Right Eye Neurovision software. It reveals the injury to his ocular motor function, part of why he was so off his game. There's a part of the brain that really controls the eye's ability to move smoothly and symmetrically. And when that area's been impacted, it's not able to pump the brakes on that part and keep it smooth. What a concussion does to our brains can get pretty technical, from problems with the vestibular system to the ocular motor system. Patients just know they don't feel right. So this computer system helps doctors and physical therapists take a closer look at what was injured so they can fix it. It looks at smooth pursuits, which is your eye's ability to track smoothly. It looks at saccades, which is the ability to look quickly side to side. That's what's involved with reading. It looks at saccades up and down, the ability to track your eyes up and down. We need that for scrolling on computers. Um, it looks at your vergence, your ability to focus from far to near, from near to far. We use that if we're catching a ball or if we're driving and cars are coming at us and going away. Jill puts Andre through the paces with balance work, eye tracking exercises, Come on, faster. even game time drills with a little multitasking on top. He's on his way to healing. But even so, after playing football since the fourth grade and a stellar season last year with the Polson Pirates, he's decided to give up the gridiron for his health's sake. I just don't want to take that risk because once you get one concussion, you're at a higher risk of other ones just by hitting your head again or other ways. And I just don't want to risk that for later in my future. I don't want to play football for one year and end up getting three more just for that one year of football. Andre is part of an important conversation about concussions from diagnosis to treatment. We have to grow our service and understanding of vestibular rehab and ocular motor rehab. And if you talk to people that have been through rehab and, and physical therapy and concussion rehab, those are the areas that usually take the greatest insult and um, need to be addressed to get them back to full level. In Missoula, Jill Valley, MTN News. Thanks so much, Jill. Now local experts provide detailed instructions for teachers when a concussed student returns to school. Tonight's Montana Snapshot, this beautiful view of Castle Butte in Yellowstone County. We'll be right back.